you know, we're at a special place here on Delmarva. We're not too far from the beaches or the city. We have beautiful acres of farmland and lots of incredible local shops and oh, eateries. Man, we really are pretty lucky. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's only a few miles off the coast of the peninsula, but life on Tangier and Smith Islands, very different. Something mm -hmm. you can only know once you've seen it. So joining us today to tell us more about island life is WBOC's Bill Mitch. Thanks for coming in, Bill. And thank you for having me. So you recently took a, a trip trip to the islands. What yeah. was uh, what was it like? We went over in Chopper 16, yeah. obviously, because you can only get there by flying or by boat, and it's just different. You go and there's no street signs, there's no stop signs, there's no street lights, there's cars, maybe three or four. Yeah. Everybody gets around in golf carts and by boat. And a lot of the cars don't even have license plates on them mm. because they never leave the island. Right, right. It's just yeah. different. Yeah, and it's not what you would picture when you think island vacation. It's a lot of hard work over there. Yeah, there's no flip-flops and beach chairs and mm -hmm. fruity drinks. These guys are spending their days at the dock. They're crabbing and fishing. I went over there and everybody was just working hard. It was tough to get people to talk to me yeah. because they were busy working. Really? Yeah. It, is it tough to, to, to unplug and, and be just a citizen over there? I think it'd be tough for me, but yeah. the people who've lived there their whole life, that's what they know and, and they love it. They say that they don't mind not having the movie theater. They don't mind not being able to go bowling. They love their way of life and it's right. just, I couldn't do it, but they love it. It's what, they, what they're that? used to. And everyone knows each other on the islands. Yeah, that's that saying everybody knows everybody in yeah. a uh -huh. small town. They literally know every single person. I drove around with one gentleman and he said, I know this person, every house. He knew who lived there. It was, oh it was unbelievable. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So uh, they look out for each other. Like family. In everything they do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The one gentleman we spoke to said, he, everyone on the island feels like family. It was, it, was, it was great to talk to him. It's like family. The whole, the whole island, like one big family. We, uh, we get along with each other. We help each other. We're like family in, in other ways. We, we have our little spats sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes we know each other too well. We know each other's business, but it's more positive than negative. If, if someone's in trouble, we all pitch in and help. Okay, so what would you say is the biggest challenge for the people living on these islands? Well, it was interesting. Everyone I talked to said it was the same challenge, but that would give everything away. So I always have to watch the story a little later tonight. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> the Rugged Islanders tonight on WBOC News at 10 o'clock on Fox 21. Don't go anywhere. Mm -mm. I wouldn't think of it. We still need you. Our Smith Island Cake Challenge is coming up next, and you don't want to miss this. Absolutely not. We challenge the Scratch Genie as well when we see just how well it works on getting the scratches out of your car's paint. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.